Living on Fox 14 continues. And welcome back. As always, Friday means we ha get a visit from local author Edna Matthews with our weekly tip to be encouraged. Edna, how are you doing? You look beautiful today. I am today. doing great, and so do you, Ashley. You Thank know, we you. do that all the time. Thank you. I, uh, I love your topic this week, trusting your instinct. Trusting your instinct. Trusting your instinct is truly the key to fully understanding your value system. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, your value system is so important and, and just the amazing idea that it's just built right into us. It's that gut feeling yes. that we must trust and that gut feeling never leads, leads us astray. It's kind of like our built-in GPS system that we have built right into us and it really helps to, like I say, establish your value system and then, of course, it gives us the guidance to really uh, to understand uh, well, what you what you're all about and then you can own it you can live it and then you can really work it it helps you to really know who you are and that is so important because this works from within it's something that really is there always available to us and so often we tend to sometimes kind of dismiss it but that's kind of like our GPS system speaking to us guiding us directing us and that gut instinct is truly truly important we should not ignore it we should listen. We should listen. What are some tips if you have the gut instinct and you say, nah, that's not, that's not going to happen? We should, we, should li we should really tune into what it is that our inside, our inner core is speaking to us. Mm -hmm. Generally, our inner core will give us some kind of a good feeling or bad feeling about that thing. And we really need to take some time out to really hear what the voice inside of us is speaking. Then we should really not so much try to figure it out, but just to hear it and follow what the instinct, that gut is telling us. What, is it, what if it's a bad instinct? something that's making you worry if it's a bet, th then that's probably not an instinct. That's a fear. Okay. And that's so interesting that you would ask me that question because mm -hmm. there is an in the instinct really will, will really speak to and notify you about your fears. Uh huh. Very interesting. Yes. Yes. Uh, and so when we fear, then we our fear is something that really blocks mm -hmm. uh, and and sets up some kind of opposition or friction with what the instinct is really saying to us. Very interesting. Edna, do you have any more tips on uh, trusting your instinct? I, I absolutely do. Uh, you know, the one thing, again, like we want to say is, is that know that this is our voice speaking from within. It's truly like our internal GPS system that we can use at the time that we most need it. It's important that we know that you are responsible for this and that you have to protect it, guide it, and that you have the responsibility of owning it. We have to own it. And when we own it, it is something that we take care of and we don't dismiss, we don't ignore. Uh, it's a valuable system to us. In fact, it is probably one of the best assets that we have. And Edna uh, has a book, Be Encouraged, that you can buy on Amazon and also at Blessings Bookstore in West Monroe. Edna, always great to have you. Thank you for joining us. Have Wonderful. a good weekend. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Coming up next on Louisiana Living, we're talking football camps with Jeff Guerrero and also Justin Jellybean Ellis with the Oakland Raiders. You're watching Louisiana Living on Fox 14.